Welcome back to another episode of the Electrician's Tool Channel. Today we're going to do a comparison between uh, a multimeter um, versus insulation meter. And the test component we're going to use, or I should say the testing apparatus we're going to use, is the transformer. And we're going to see which one you prefer, and I'll tell you which one I prefer and um, to use while testing this low voltage transformer. This is a step down transformer. The primary size takes 20, 120 volts, and it steps down to a 24 volt, uh, to 24 volts. Now, before we go any further, guys, I want to ask you if this is your first time uh, viewing the channel and you like what you see after the channel, after we, uh, the video is over with, I appreciate it if you hit the like button, uh, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment. And I'm asking you to do that because I'm just trying to make the channel grow. Everything I ask you is, is for free. Uh, I'm not asking you for none of your money. I just want the channel to grow, to keep on, you know, keep these things going and we can talk about certain things like this and, uh, you know, just support the channel. Those of you who have been supporting the channel, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, a thumbs up to all of you. I ask to continue. I ask for your continued support. Also, now uh, let's move on, guys. So I, I want what I want to do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna try both of both of these meters, and we're gonna test this transformer, and uh, which one, you know, you let me know in the comments which one that you would prefer, and why you prefer it uh, to use, just testing this low voltage transformer. Okay, so now we're gonna, we're gonna start with the Fluke um, 289. And I'm gonna use these meters, these leads right here. Again, we're gonna see just Okay. And those of you who have never tested a transformer before, or don't know how, you always go uh, you go to the primary side. Pi primary side. The primary side is the where the power comes in at. I guess you would call it the line side, and the load side. And uh, the secondary side would be the load side over here. And you check for um, resistance. If you with these two right here, you check resistance. And if you have no resistance between the two, uh, you know it's it's good. You do the secondary side. The same thing. Hardly ever a transformer goes bad, low voltage transformer, a transformer go bad. Uh, and if it does go bad, you know, you probably have a short somewhere that caused it to go bad. But hardly ever, you know, you, you hear about low voltage transformers going bad. But uh, we're going to do this. I'm going to put it on that one. And when you put your leads up, put, uh, put your, te uh, your, your, your crock clips on, it don't matter what, which one you put it on, uh, what color you put it on. Put them on there. So we're gonna put it on. Now it's giving me 24.4 uh, ohms. So resist resistance, this transformer is good. It's good, but let's just say you you know you you know you you questioning it. You know it it may or may not be good. You want to be sure. And okay. So what we want to do is let's go to the secondary side also. Let's do the same thing to the secondary side. And we'll see. Okay, now remember, this is a step down transformer, okay? So you're getting 1.4 um, uh, ohms on that side. Okay, so transformer is good on the secondary side and the primary side. So now what I want to do, just to be sure, and let's try the mega ohm, uh, the insulation tester. Okay, so put this in here, put that in there. Let's do the same thing. Let's just say you want to remove all doubt that this transformer is bad. Well, normally it's, it's 120 volts. You want to double that. You want to go up to uh, set your insulation tester up to 250. But you could do 500 also. 
but I want to go a step further than that. I want to make sure that this transformer is good to remove all doubt from my mind and those, you know, who's out to help me. We're going to, we're going to just remove all doubt and prove that this transformer is good. Okay, so I'm going to keep it at 1,000. I'm going to put it on 1,000 volts. Now, that's like triple, maybe, even more uh, of what I'm supposed to be using for this, but I want to remove all doubt. So let's try this and see. At 1,000 volts, there's no resistance. And so I know it's good now because if it can handle 1,000 volts DC and there's no resistance in these little wires right here, the transformer have to be good. Let's try the primary side. Okay. Um, at a thousand volts also. There we go. No resistance. So that means the windings, the wires, are, the windings inside this transformer are, are good. This is a perfectly good good transformer. Which one I would rather use out of the two? I would use this because I can I can I can apply more voltage using this insulation tester in these wires to check that winding to determine if this transformer is really good or bad. And I'm gonna just show you one more thing here. All right, let me move this out of the way. Put this over here. I'm gonna plug this in here and look at. The voltage, let me set this on. Volts DC, so um, that's how much, that's the voltage that this trans, that's this uh, Fluke 289 is putting out. It's putting out 2.7 volts DC. Now, uh, that's a, you know, that's, that's enough to get a reading on a low voltage transformer. You just wanna see if the wind isn't broken. But I will be reassured if I can just put put this back on V on volts DC. Thousand volts. There you go. Thousand volts. Or the twenty five I mean uh, five hundred volts. Or the two fifty volts. So there you have it, guys. Which one I would use? I would go with the uh, insulation meter. And what I'm saying is, if you if you're involved in HVAC, or you you know even if you're working in a plant, and uh, if, if and even if you're starting out, you know you're an apprentice, you're looking for a good multimeter, and you were working inside of a plant, or you're going to be working on circuits or things like that, uh, machinery, get yourself a good insulation. Multi uh, insulation sla uh, meter slash multimeter. There's several on the market. Uh, I would go with the Fluke 1587. 1587. I would go with uh, uh, this HT right here. This don't wouldn't. This don't have as many function multimeter functions as the Fluke 1587 does. But this will get you through. You know uh, what you need. But I'll the um, I'll do the Fluke 1587 FC. I'll do the uh, Mega. Uh, Mega has one as the four. Um, can't think of the name of it, the model number right now. Um, I will go with that one. Ideal makes one. Um, who else? They have several on the market, but I will not, if I take my advice, I recommend that you don't go get those ones that the names that you can't even pronounce, um, that you never heard of before, and they look like they give you a thousand features on it, and you're only paying $20 for it on eBay. Don't go for that, man. Go for a reputable brand that you know that's uh, known, well-known for safety. Because remember, you will be applying voltage up to 1,000 volts through this instrument. You, you want to be safe while using this thing. So uh, get you a reputable um, brand name uh, instrument and uh, add that to your arsenal of tools. If you plan on being an electrical field for a long time and you want to be the best that you can be, uh, you need the best tools out there to help you achieve that. So, uh, guys, I, I want to thank you, and um, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was short, like most of my videos. I, you know, I don't, I don't have enough material to make long, long videos, and then I don't really like long videos. 
So I uh, hope you got something out of it. And uh, don't forget to hit that like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment. And until next time, guys, you guys take care and peace out.